I'm Dr. Sina Paul from Sri M. D. Shah Mahila College of Arts and Commerce, Mumbai. Today, we are going to discuss best practices women trade union seva and the module number is 4. Seva, full form of seva is self-employed women association. Now, this seva was born in the year 1972 as a trade union with the purpose of organizing self-employed women workers. These women earn their living through doing their own labor, they can be agriculture laborers, construction workers, papad rollers, household cleaning, anything or doing small business like a vegetable vendor, fishmonger, etc. They neither receive regular salary nor welfare benefits and they also constitute a part of unorganized labor force. Accordingly, SEVA membership differs from the traditional union in a number of ways. First, a traditional uni union generally organizes workers from one trade, whereas SEVA brings together workers operating in different occupations, extending from urban street vendor to rural livestock breeder. Secondly, it organizes workers who tend to work in a non-factory settings, such as in their own home as house-based worker, in other other homes like domestic worker, in field as agriculture labor or in public streets like street vendor. Let's look at the history of SEVA. The establishment of SEVA was patronized by Textile Labor Association TLA which was founded in 1920 by Anusaya Sarabhai under the inspiration of Mahatma Gandhi. It is India's oldest and largest union of textile workers. In 1954, the women wing of TLA was established and the purpose of establishing it was assisting women belonging to the household of mill workers and it largely focused on training the wives and the sisters and the daughters of mill workers for various skills like sewing, knitting, embroidery, spinning, press composition, typing, stenography and conducting welfare activity. In 1955, Ila Bhatt, professionally a lawyer, joined the women wing of TLA and by 1968 she was heading the wing. As the head of women wing of TLA, Ila Bhatt came in touch with the wives and the daughters of textile workers who often worked in the informal sector in order to supplement their family's income. These women workers worked as cart pullers, head loaders, vegetable vendors, fishmongers, BD rollers, construction labourer. From her interaction with these women, she realized that women workers in the informal sector work with no specific contracts, no regular wages, no job security. On the basis of her work on the women workers in the informal sector in 1971, Ila wrote an article in the local newspaper highlighting the plight of head loaders in Ahmedabad cloth market. The cloth merchants denied the allegation made against them in another article and insisted that they were paying the women fair wages. 
Ila Bhatt and the self-employed women workers used the cloth merchants article as a bargaining tool. They printed and distributed it to the women in the form of cars where the fair claim of the employers were stated in a written form and used these cards to demand the staged wages and job security. Every time the merchantmen bank on their wages or work hard, the women produced these cards to remind them of their own claim. <laughs> The news of this effective strategy spread and the growth of used garment dealers approached the women's wing with their own grievances. A public meeting of used garment dealers were called and over 100 women attended. During the meeting in a public work, a woman from the court suggested they should form their own association. Thus on the appeal from the women and at the initiative of Ila Butt and the women's wing of TLA and TLA, Self-Employed Women Association that is SEVA was born in December 1971. However, SEVA was not registered as a trade union till April 1972 as Indian labor laws had trouble accommodating a trade union where no formal employee-employer relationship existed. After operating in Ahmedabad city for 15 years, it spread its operation to the rural areas of Gujarat and further beyond the boundaries of the state. This enlargement in the area of operation resulted in an increase in the membership of SEVA from 1,070 in 1972 to 1.75 million workers in 2012. Today, membership from the rural area constitutes 66% of SEVA's membership. SEVA now works in 12 states, 50 districts and 700 villages all over the country. <laughs> What are the activities which are performed by SEVA? SEVA activities are steered to achieve objectives such as self-employment and self-reliance for its members. For SEVA, full employment and self-reliance for its member means helping its members to achieve work security, income security, food security and social security similarly to be empowered both economically and in terms of decision making ability to its activity. To achieve these objectives, SEVA has embraced an integrated approach which comprises organizing women for collective strength, 
enhancing capital formation among women members through access to financial services, building new skills and capacities among women members, providing social security to women members. For this range of support and development activity, SEVA has developed diverse structures including a trade union with rural and urban branches, 130 cooperatives and 181 producer groups, numerous service organization, networks, alliances, federation and self-help group. Organizing women for collective strength. Now to organize women for collective strength, SEVA strategies to mobilize, unite women workers into trade union activity and help them run their own cooperatives, SEVA union. As mentioned earlier, SEVA started its trade union operation for self-employed workers in Ahmedabad. The purpose of the union is to assist, assist its women members to bargain collectively, increase their wages and to provide them protection against police harassment and extortion. SEVA has undertaken and won legal battles against attempt by municipal authorities to have evict women street menders from areas where they have been traditionally selling their merchandise. Some of the campaigns organized by SEVA include street vendor campaign, waste paper picker campaign for livelihood, manual labor livelihood campaign, water campaign, agriculture campaign, feminizer forest campaign etc. SEVA also provide legal support and training to its members on labor laws, workers right, employers duty. The union strategies include satyagraha, demonstration, informal negotiation, lobbying with government officials, strikes and litigation. Union membership is open for self-employed women workers all over India and over the age of 15. The women workers can be broadly categorized as hawkers, vendors like vegetable, fruit, fish, egg and other vendors, food item, household goods and clothes. Home-based workers like weavers, potters, BD and Agar Agarbati workers, papad rollers, ready-made garment workers, women who process agriculture products and artisan, manual laborers and service providers like agriculture laborers, construction workers, contract laborers, hard cart pullers, head loaders, domestic workers and laundry workers. In addition to these three categories, there is an emergence of another category of women workers. Producers who invest their labor and capital to carry out their business like cattle rarer, salt worker, gum collector, cooking and vending etc. Within this broad category there are 125 specific trade group such as construction worker, gum processor, hawker, salt worker, weaver etc. 
and each seva member is assigned to one single group. The member of each trade elect their representative in the ratio of one representative per 100 member. These representatives then form a trade council that is Pradhiniti Mandal. In addition and parallel to the trade council are trade committee, Danda Samiti in each trade. The trade committee has no fixed proportion to number of members but carries between 15 to 50 members. The trade committee meet every month and discuss the problems of their trades and possible solutions to them. Trade council members are members of their respective trade committees as well. The organizer of a trade group is a member secretary of that group's trade committee. Every three years, the trade council elects an executive committee of 25 members. The representation of executive committee reflects the proportion of the membership. Office bearers of the trade union are elected from among the executive members. It has become the practice to elect the president from the trade with the largest membership. The union members have now spread across 12 states in India and affiliated state level unions have been set up in Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Kerala and Delhi thus making it the largest single trade union in the country and perhaps in Asia. The largest membership of the union is from the state of Gujarat, 60% followed by Madhya Pradesh. In 2005, Seva's petition to become central trade union was accepted and its success has encouraged the creation of self-employed women's union and organization in other countries such as South Africa, Yemen, Turkey, Afghanistan, Pakistan, ne Nepal affiliated to Seva as sister union. Since its initiation, SEVA has worked to develop cooperatives of self-employed women workers engaged in similar types of occupation, thereby helping them to access productive resources at favorable rate, market their products, upgrade their skill. Artisans and craftsmen such as cane and bamboo workers, hand block printers and handloom weavers have formed cooperatives through SEVA. Its members are organized into more than 130 cooperatives, the largest of which is Seva Bank which has more than 3,71,000 members.
Seva members are allowed to join more than one Seva cooperative and they provide share capital to each cooperative joined by them. Each cooperative is a self-managed, economically independent unit which is supported by Gujarat State Women Seva Cooperative Federation. The federation provides training to the cooperative members in areas such as cooperative education, marketing, management, leadership development and technical education. It also promotes retail marketing outlets such as Seva Kalakruti, Fish Outlet, Shop Number 40 for marketing products produced by the cooperative members. The outlet thus helps in directly linking customers to artisan products and thereby eliminating the middlemen. Furthermore, the Federation has an export license which enables its members mostly in the sphere of fabrics and craft to access market globally. Further, the design wing of the Federation helps the artisan members to develop design in tune with a changing global taste. Capital formation through access to financial service. Another approach adopted by SEVA to empower women is to enhance the position of capital among women workers through offering financial services such as saving, credit and insurance and assisting women in owing assets such as land, house, workshed, equipment, capital etc. in the name. Regarding capital formation, the most important aspect of SEVA work was the establishment of SEVA Bank which addresses the saving and the credit needs of self-employed women. The conventional banking system was unsuitable to self-employed women as the women were unable to offer a definite address while opening a bank account. The bank timings were unsuitable to them. Loan size offered by the conventional banks were relatively bigger than the loan requirement of women workers. To overcome these issues in May 1974, 4,000 women established Mahila Seva Sahakari Bank on TLA premises with a working capital of 40,000. As on February 2013, bank serves more than 4,30,000 members and has a working capital of more than 10 crore. It has now become the backbone of the SEVA movement. It provides financial services to its members through saving, loan and insurance. Ben, I have a lot of money in my sleep. I have a pension in my sleep. I have a lot of money in my sleep. I have a lot of money in my sleep. I have a lot of money in my sleep. I have a lot of money in my sleep. I have a lot of money in my sleep. I have a Seva Bank provides a wide range of loan product to meet the productive credit requirement of its client. It also offers housing loan including loan for house repair, housing upgradation and to purchase new houses. As a rule, loan for new house require that house has to be bought in the name of the woman borrower thereby creating an asset in the name of the woman.
The next point what we are going to consider is how SEVA is providing social security to its members. Social security is a particular importance for the self-employed women workers which include health care, maternal benefit, social insurance and child care. With the goal to provide social security within the structure of SEVA, different social service organizations have been set up which includes Lok Swastya SEVA, Health Cooperative, Shram Shakti Cooperative, Sangini Child Care Cooperative, Vimo SEVA Insurance Collective. Elaborating few initiatives undertaken by SEVA for social security. Lok Swastya Health Cooperative was established in 1990 to help women and the families move towards health security and overall well-being. The activities of the cooperative are multifaceted ranging from creating health awareness and health education to providing primary health care including access to quality medical facility, affordable medicines, prevention program and helping influence policy which reduce hazards and improve health care. Vimo Seva, Seva Insurance Cooperative offers a health insurance package to its member modeled on the group plan offered by the nationalized general insurance company. It reimburses hospitalization and related medical expenses of members. Members can opt to ensure the health of husbands and children. With effect from the year 2005, it also reimburses hospitalization charges for diseases like hypertension, cardiac and cancer which were earlier excluded from the coverage. The next point which is to be covered is capacity building. How is SEVA trying to develop capacity among its members? Building of new skill and capacity are essential for the empowerment of women workers. To achieve the same, SEVA Academy and SEVA Manager School was set up in 1991 and 2005 respectively. SEVA Academy acts as a university for its members wherein the members are introduced with the first formal learning environment. The responsibility bestowed on the wing is members' education, leadership training, literacy, print and audio-video communication and research. With the objective of providing its grassroots workers with management skill to run their enterprise, SMS was found by SEVA. A decentralized approach was adopted by SMS to train its women members in the rural areas. The training to the members are provided by master trainers who are selected from the rural areas. These master trainers are trained in imparting technical skill, life skill and management. The group of master trainers then train the women members in the community learning and business resource center established by SEVA at the village level. The training is designed to be hands-on, demonstrative and need-based. The modules are developed with the consultation of members and pre-tested before being formalized. Let's summarize SEVA's experience. SEVA's achievements are numerous. First and foremost, they have been able to organize non-unionized self-employed women and gave them a voice and visibility, highlighted their contribution to the economy and also ensured that they are included in the government schemes and policies. Even though their achievements are innumerable, but SEVA continues to face some important challenges. First, there are little evidence to measure the organized strength of SEVA. The existing records of SEVA highlights only the size of its membership and much information is not available on the degree of unity among members and trust within membership based organization and SEVA union as a whole. Second, 
Vimo Seva was initiated with the purpose of reducing the burden of emergency and you know, hospitalized healthcare indebtedness, but it faces acute problem of dropouts as the insurance membership has fallen from 214181 in 2007 to 92345 in 2013 lok swasthya <coughs> seva cooperative prime objective is to provide low cost appropriate curative service at women's doorstep but the major defect of this program uh, the outreach of the program is limited with the state of gujarat Various impact studies conducted to assess the impact of SEVA movement on the income of the people have indicated that the activities of SEVA has resulted only a marginal increase in the family income, which is not enough to maintain a sustainable quality of living conditions. Goal of SEVA is to provide full employment to its members, but the goal has not reached to a satisfactory level according to various impact studies. However, there have been a great increase in the number of work hours, number of activities and diversification of great activities.